Hey guys, Adrenaline Junkie here. Today we're going to install a cool product into these BF Goodridge Mud Terrain tires. Here I have a set of eye grip screw studs. These studs screw directly into your tires to provide you with traction in icy conditions or other slick conditions. You can take these studs and you can screw them into basically any tire. Whether it's on your side-by-side, -side, your ATV, you can even screw them into a sled or your vehicle, your off-road truck. You can screw them into a skid steer, a tractor, basically any equipment that has a tire, you can find a set of eye grip studs to work for you. They come in various sizes and in various designs, both in like a spike style for extra piercing grip, and they also come in like flat point design. So you'll have to choose the stud that's best for your tire and your setting. Tips in these studs aren't just like your standard stainless steel or metal. The tips are actually carbide inserts. So it's, it's, I'm not sure exactly, but like, they're like 60 Rockwell or something. These things will destroy whatever they touch and they're not gonna get damaged driving down the road or driving down the trail. Um, you'll get a lot of life out of these. Obviously once in a while, maybe, maybe you can pull one out, something like that, like any stud, but supposedly these studs stay in really well and they have a really, really long life cycle. They're probably one of the toughest studs on the market, so we're really gonna put them to the test. We're gonna install a bunch of studs into each one of these tires. And I'm gonna be using these as my winter tires. When we're doing climbs in the winter um, on icy hills, then we need this extra traction that the rubber tire just can't provide. Um, essentially, if you're driving in the ice, you guys know that it doesn't matter what type of tread you have, grip is kind of non-existent. So with these carbide spiked studs, I should be able to dig into that ice and get the grip I didn't think I could ever have. And on top of just getting the grip for hill climbs and stuff like that, another crazy thing when you're riding in the winter, it's not even so much the climbs, it's going down the hills, not having any brakes or control. I'm hoping that with this traction product, I'll be able to slow myself down going down hills, steer a little better, and better control my speed. So um, we'll get these in, they should be pretty easy to install. It comes with the tool you need to drill these into your tires. And aside from being easy to install, they're also removable. You'll be able to remove these from your tires and they shouldn't cause any serious long-term damage to the tires. You might see some pinpoint holes, but that's about it. So enough talk, let's get these babies installed. If you're looking for a set of eye grip studs for your machine, then check out Royal Distributing or royaldistributing.com and they'll get you hooked up. So here we've got some of the eye grip studs with the carbide pinpoint tip. Um, we're gonna mount these into the tire and um, we're gonna see, I, I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna do them yet. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take these studs and I've, I've kind of measured them up and they're about the depth of these lugs. So, so they should be fine. One thing you obviously wanna consider is you're putting a screw into your tire. If you don't have enough tread depth, you can screw into your tire and it's gonna cause leaks. So make sure you've got enough meat on your tires to put these in. There's 200 in each one of these packages. So uh, I'm not sure how many it's gonna take. Maybe I should count the tread blocks before I start. But that seems like I'll take a chance. They give you the tool you need to install the studs. It's a two-sided tool that mounts in your drill. So the instructions are really straightforward. There's some installation instructions as well as removal instructions. I'm not sure if I'm gonna remove them or not. I'm, I'm really gonna abuse these. I can ride them on the road and I'm really gonna try and destroy these to see how tough they are. I file tested them yesterday and I was really impressed. Let's do that really quick too. So this is a metal file and this is the tip of that stud. Nothing, I've actually damaged the file. Yeah, there's no damage on that tip at all. It's actually marking up the file. If it can hold up with that, then it shouldn't be any issue on the asphalt or, or, or the trail. All right, so let's get some of these installed. Um, I've kind of thought about like a general pattern of how I'm gonna install these. 200 seems like a lot of studs, but there's also a lot of tread blocks on here. Um, so 
I gotta make sure I space them out. I, like, you don't wanna go overkill either. Um, so I'm gonna try and space them out the best I can. And then um, we'll see how much coverage we can get. And then depending on how much we have left, we can go back and decide if we need more, or I might just drive it and see how it feels. Because uh, at the same time, there's no sense of oversetting them. They're gonna provide a ton of grip in comparison to what I've got. So, the tool for installing them is provided. It mounts right in your drill. There's two sides to the tool. There's a side here for installation. It's just like a regular hex head. And then on the other side, they've got one for removal. And you'll actually notice that the stud slides in there. So if for some reason you wear down the carbide or you wear down the stud or something breaks, there's two slots there so you can dig these into the tire and still extract the stud, even if there's damage to the surface. Um, so that's a smart design. So we'll go ahead and we'll start slamming these guys in there and uh, see how it looks. I'm pretty sure it's gonna look badass. The guys, uh, when I go, I'm going out riding tomorrow, they're gonna see these and they're gonna be so jealous. So these are pretty easy. We're just gonna mount the stud in here and then we're gonna put it wherever we want it. So we'll start off with the center lug and it's just like a screw. Position it, push down. And you're gonna tighten until the kind of the flat washer-like section seats itself flush with the inside of the tread there. You don't wanna go much deeper than that. So we'll go and we'll start on these. Nice and easy. Wow, those look evil already. Cool. I'm really excited to try these. I've wanted to set a set of winter tires for ages. So I'm really excited about these. Obviously with any stud product, you're gonna wanna make sure you've got enough meat in the lug and in the tire so that you don't go through and cause your tire to leak. These tires are brand new and they've got just enough kind of meat on there that that, that stud is sinking into the, the lug itself. So I'm not too concerned that this is gonna cause any problems. So now that we've done a couple of the center grooves, uh, the center lugs on the three sections here, we're gonna do these outers. So now I'm thinking to myself, should I put them more on the outside or should I put them more on the inside or the middle? Um, strength wise, I'm thinking the middle of the lug is gonna be the strongest and I run these tires at a, quite a low pressure so they can form well, so we'll go, we'll go right in the middle of these lugs. So now that I'm looking at the tires, I'm actually thinking this is a really nice kind of positioning for the studs. So I, I like how this looks so far. So I think I'm gonna uh, just stick to doing three studs every other set of lugs for now. We'll go around and do the entire tire and we'll see what it looks like. And we'll also get an idea of how many studs we go through doing that, which will give me an idea of, of how much more I have to work with. And maybe we'll go around and we'll insert one or two more. So the rest is pretty easy. We'll just go around and we'll follow this pattern. I know these are gonna chew up my garage floor and my trailer. They're gonna chew up anything they come in contact with realistically. Uh, maximum destruction here. Uh, they're not gonna discriminate what they grip. I can't wait to try these on the asphalt. I wonder what they're gonna sound like. You can check out royaldistributing.com and order yourself a set of eye grip studs online. Royal Distributing's got free shipping as long as you spend 39 bucks and uh, they'll get you hooked up pretty quick. So as you guys can see, it's really easy. It's like slamming a screw into drywall, basically. Um, pick spots, follow a pattern, and just hammer these guys in there. Obviously, depending on the, like, the tire design, your patterning might be different. Depending on your conditions and how much grip you want, how many studs you use might be different. And um, that's all up to you. 
Um, but to me, this is looking pretty evil already, the way it is. It looks awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go around, we'll finish up the rest of the tire, and then we'll get back with you. I've got that pattern in now. We still got a ton of studs left. I, I, I probably went through like, I don't know, maybe 80 to 90 of them. So we got at least half a pack left. So now I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna add a few more. Uh, with, it's just easier to picture it once you do some. So now that I've done these rows, I'm actually gonna go around now and I'm gonna put a stud into each one of these missed side lugs, kind of closer to the inside. And we'll see how that works. That should be a, that should be a good one. Cool fact, these eye grip studs are manufactured in Canada. Yeah, it is a Canadian company and the manufacturing is done in Canada as well. So uh, it's not done overseas. It's, um, it's a, a local Canadian product, which is pretty neat. It's cool to see uh, nice products like this coming out. And I mean, it makes sense. A, a product like this serves a purpose, especially in Northern climates. Um, the headquarters is based out of Quebec and Quebec gets some good winters. So um, a product like this makes complete sense. It's, it's probably more of a product of necessity in that area. And um, for stuff like skid steers and bobcats or snow removal, um, you, could, you could see how much grip a stud like this could add. I mean, you could slam a few of these into your, into your um, snowblower even. If your snowblower is spinning tires, pop a few of these studs in there, I'm sure it would help. Just like I said earlier, they make studs as small as the ones that can go in your shoes. So I'm actually probably gonna try and slam a few into my boots, into my Fintrail waders. Oh, I got a set of Fintrail boots right here. Shout out to Fintrail. But um, if you pay attention to the bottom of these boots, there's a lot of rubber insole here. If you pay attention here, there's actually one, two, three, four, five open round areas there in the heel that fit a stud perfectly. And then there's some open flat areas here um, that are specifically designed for sinking studs into. So it's really cool that Fintrail has even thought of designing the tread pattern on the bottom of the boot to factor in the potential for studding. They know where you're gonna be using these. They know you're gonna be riding in the, in the winter and the summer. Having some studs in here, even in the summertime, if you're on wet rocks, if you're on a wet log, it's gonna give you a lot more grip. And it's also probably gonna lock into your ATV and stuff like that. Yeah, it's gonna scratch your paint and stuff, but who cares? Grip's more important than paint is. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna scratch the plastic floors of my razor, but I don't care. I don't care that the outside of my razor is scratched. Why would I care about my floors? So for you, those of you guys that don't know, Fintrail manufactures weighting equipment. They make some of the best waders you can get. I'd argue it's the best weighting system available in the world right now for this type of riding. They're specifically designed for power sports enthusiasts. You can check us out wearing Fintrail in the videos. And it's just really neat that this product transfers over to more than just tires, but it also transfers over to stuff like these boots. So now that we've got the studs in every second block here, I wasn't, I was trying to figure out where the best place to put some more studs is. I'm thinking I'm gonna mount them on the inside lug here. I was gonna try and do them here, but I couldn't decide like where I wanna put them. I'm way too OCD. It's like, there's four spots here. How do I decide which one to put them into? So we'll go here. Uh, and the side grip will be nice. So we're gonna go right in there. And on this one, we're gonna go right here. And then we're just gonna follow suit all up the tire like we did earlier. You wanna make sure when you are studying a tire like this that you do space the studs apart in different areas. You don't want them all lined up in one section. So if you're doing a stud, more than one stud in this area, you wouldn't wanna put one here and one here. You're better off putting one here and one there because you want them to bite as many contact spots as possible, not all be in line. So obviously these ones are all in line, but I'm not gonna put all these ones in line. You're better off staggering them. You'll get more grip. So you'll notice that since I've got one here, now I've got one there, one there, we've covered a large surface area of this tire. gone around and done the side lugs now. And um, now looking at it, I think I want a little bit more studding in the center treads here. So I'm gonna go around, I've got, some in, I've got some in the center lug here, every other. So I'm gonna go, for my next set, I'm gonna go one here, 
one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, all the way around. If I have leftovers at that point, I'm done anyways. Um, that's gonna be more than enough studs. Honestly, it's probably enough right now, but hey, I got 800 of them, so I might as well use them. I got nothing else to really use them on, so um, like I'm not gonna stud another set of tires. So you know what, if I'm gonna stud them, I might as well stud them right. One there, and one there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. So I'm just gonna keep going with that pattern all the way around, and um, oh man, <laughs> I'm telling you, these look evil. They're already chewing up my concrete floor. There is like concrete dust on a bunch of them. Um, so my floors are going to hate me, and there probably won't be much paint left on this section of flooring, but who cares? Uh, that just means they work. So I'm gonna go around, we'll finish up the rest of these, We'll get a few shots and then, I mean, there's no sense of going through all four of the tires. You're just gonna repeat the exact same process for the other three. I mean, if you wanna mess around and, and do different patterns, stuff like that, it's all up to you. Um, you can just play around and see what works. If you're ice racing, for example, sometimes you might have a little too much grip, so it might be better to start off with less studs, do a few laps and then go around and maybe add some more, maybe add some more on the sidewall, see what works. Uh, for, for my type of riding, we're doing trail riding. I don't, I'm not drifting, I'm not sliding around on ice, so I don't really have to really worry so much about how the machine's gonna kick out and whether it's got too much grip. I'm going for a lot of grip here. So I think this is gonna work really well. It's gonna look really mean. Hey buddy, I got the shop cat here investigating. Oh no, he didn't like those. He's a stud too. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, so I'll finish it up and we'll close off the video in a moment. Just let me get this done. So um, yeah, we got the studs all mounted. Um, there's about 30 or so left, so about 165 to 175 studs per tire on this 32 by 10 by 15 BF Goodridge um, Mud Terrain KM3. Um, I'm guessing if you're gonna do a set of eight like side-by-side -side tires in the 29 to kind of 33 to 35 range, you're probably gonna wanna buy four packs of 200. 200 a tire, you'll be left over with some in case maybe you pull a few out or you want to switch some things up or add a few. Uh, worst case scenario, you can save them, use them for something else down the line. Um, but I would recommend buying about 800 for, for a setup like this. You probably get away with 600 on a smaller ATV with a smaller wheel, or if you want to run less studs, but at least 600. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do the other three tires now and just follow this exact same pattern and uh, I'm pretty happy with how they went in. They're really easy to do, and uh, they don't take that long at all. I think I can get the other ones done in about 15 to 20 minutes each per tire. So uh, if you're hustling on this, you can, probably, you can probably get this install done in about an hour and a half easy. Um, obviously, I recommend removing the uh, tires off the vehicle, but you can also go ahead and just do it on the vehicle if you really want to. It doesn't really make a difference, whatever's easiest for you. Check out iGripStud.com as well for more information on the product. Sweet Canadian made product, can't wait to get out on the trail and test these bad boys. We're going out for a ride tomorrow in the snow and in the ice, so we'll see how these do. Um, I bet people are gonna call me a cheater and a bunch of the guys are gonna be real jealous, so I'm assuming uh, once people see these, there might be a few more guys in the crew running studs on their machines. All right, so I got the fronts all done. We got about 165, 175 carbides in there and they look pretty good. Just moving it across the concrete sounds awful. My concrete floor and painted epoxy flooring will hate me, but hey, I think it's a good trade-off for grip. Um, so we're gonna go around to the back now. I'm actually just gonna do the backs with the machine on the ground and the tires installed. Yeah, I mean, I want to do the fronts off so I could show you guys better, but the backs I'm just gonna do with, with everything assembled. It should be just as easy. Uh, if not easier. Like always, thanks for watching. Slam that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook, and we've even got a TikTok now. So if that's your kind of fancy, then find us on TikTok as well. If you want some cool Team AJP swag, then head on over to our Shopify store. Ride safe out there, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.